All right, guys, this is David A.K. Reverse Long, and I'm going to be doing a uh, review on the Discord from the past week, February 13th through today, February 19th. And I'm going to start with the trading floor because, um, you know, to get everybody more on the same page is, is, is working really well. So it's work, working really well. So we closed off the trading floor. It's of the dedicated people that like to be there every day given value, value exchange, and we're all like looking for the same things, more or less, at least the foundational things is pretty similar because everybody is like on on the ball with watching the podcast, staying updated to how I trade, how like uh, a lot of us like to trade in there, which is on like the short side, um, active in pre-market, <clears throat> active in the regular day, in the regular hours, you know, shorting those midday parabolics, um, looking for the stocks with dilution, with uh, fluffy news, uh, things like that. There's a, there's a lot, there's a few things, a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, let's, let, you know, I wanna, I wanna do this to kind of put everybody, you know, uh, get everybody on the same um, state over here, you know. So like. I don't. It's it's worked out great because like it's only like ten people, or something like that. It's a few people, and you know, it's there's no lurkers. Um, co I'm constantly looking to see who's active, who's not active. And that's why I'm doing this also because like when I do this, um, review of the Discord, I get a look. Because you know, sometimes I'm not at the Discord twenty four seven. So now I get to see who's who's active in there, who's not. Now it's gonna stick out because I'm going over it. So I'm gonna go over the trading floor. And then also the general discussion, uh, the general discussion, I want to see who's who's starting to get active in there. So I want to whoever see maybe there is a potential person that wants to get boosted up to go to the intraday floor. You know what I'm saying? The, the regular hours floor. So like I'm always with my like ears to the ground looking to see who's who's going to who's a potential contributor. Uh, you know what I mean? And who, because like the more people that are on the same page that contribute and stuff, the more eyeballs that um are you know uh providing value and stuff um the more accurate we can be you know what i'm saying as as a unit we perform as a unit you know think of like like the the fighter jets they fly like a formation you know what i'm saying so and then like you know they're all coordinated together so like i kind of envision it like that you know hopefully we we all get there you know what i'm saying so um, but yeah, also yesterday's podcast, the uh, the Furu Masi Habibi. I'm looking at the cover art right there. You guys know, so I create all these cover arts. <laughs> I'm the one doing all these cover arts. So like, I come up with the template. So now I have a template for the Furu series because that's kind of the hardest part. It's like, oh man, I got to create this thing and get creative. It's kind of it takes a lot of energy. But now I got the template. And bam, all these furus, you got to apply the pressure to the furus. So the thing is, the only thing is the, the furus, like with the Masi one, that one got a lot of engage, engagement and a lot of attention. And like, I got a lot of nice messages, like people, people liked it. You know what I'm saying? Just like a couple people uh, didn't like it, whatever. But like those people are lost. You know, you can't save everybody. It's like the next furu one I plan on doing is an Anya. And like I'm, I already know. Okay, everybody knows. If you're a real trader, you know Anya is like a like that's a fool rule for sure. But there's gonna be some guy that's like, hey, she's a real trader, blah blah. blah you know, but like you can't save everybody. It's like that guy. You know what I'm saying? So like, it is what it is. Whatever. But like, I'm gonna be applying the pressure to these fools. Thing is, like with the Masi one, I want to move on from that really quickly. You know, because we got to get focused on trading tomorrow. Uh, the market tomorrow's Monday is the holiday, but Tuesday, uh, the market opens, and that's one reason why I did it ye yesterday. Because like, there's a couple of days to sober up from like I already knew that was gonna attract a little bit of drama, and like, it's too much, man. You got to focus on trading, and trade trading is the priority. We're here to make money, man. We're here to make money. We're here to be successful at trading, and to to do this to to be successful in the trading game. You know, so. Uh, trying to improve every day. In fact, I don't even like staring at her face. I have like right here this. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see. I don't even want to stare at it. I'm gonna change the screen. Um, but uh, but yeah. So I want to move on from that. Like today, I uh, in the morning, um, I did a podcast with Sell the News from Profitly Corey. 
Oh, man, I'm really uh, that was a cool podcast. I plan on having that one up tomorrow or the next day. Solid podcast. This is what why I do podcasts, man. It's like I want to discover these people that like you know no you know what I'm saying. They're just like hidden traders. You know, I I have to surf and find out through Profitly, through Kinfo, through whatever word of mouth. Dig up these traders and bring them to life. You know what I'm saying and and share their story and their knowledge. Now Corey's podcast has some knowledge. He drops some gems. So uh, unlike you know the fools, you know what I'm saying. You can you can tell. That's what I'm saying with with Amasi. Uh, like, hey man, she wants to defend it. Come talk to me. Let's talk. Let's talk trading. You know because like the truth comes out. Like you can just tell, like when you have a conversation with someone, if, what kind of stuff they're talking about, you know, are they talk? You know, so I don't know. It's pretty obvious. But yeah, I want to move quickly away from that and go back to like the deep trading. So like this Discord review. Um, I don't know. Let's see how long it goes. The last one I think was like three hours, you know, because like I'm going from February 13th, Monday, and I'm just gonna go through it and like however long it takes, however long it takes. So. Yes, it might take a while. So um, what else I want to say? Yeah, the, the, the Masi thing, move on from that, you know. So the, the Furu series, the next ones I'm going to do, I think I got to do I think that was a good idea. Do it like on a weekend or something where there's a couple of days to kind of let it die off. Because like the Masi thing, I can't, I can't imagine doing that kind of podcast like on a trading day, like on a trading night, like a Monday. And then like all this engagement and all this like, it was good. It was it was fun engagement. But like Twitter, everybody's like, you know, agrees or whatever. Like, hey, I saw, I knew it, I knew it. She was a fool, you know. And it's just too much, too much, you know. This it's kind of a distraction. The 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 focus needs to be on on trading. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I'll do the fool series like on a Friday night, and then so then like Saturday and Sunday I can post uh more real podcasts to kind of bury it. So like it's out there, but it's it's buried. Got to move on, man. I got to focus. It's like I'm here. I'm here to be to do trading stuff, real trading stuff. I'm not here to to um do the Coffeezilla. You know, there's a podcast Coffeezilla of of trading. You know, so you know what I'm saying? Because then, yeah, that's, I'm not. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to to be the best trader I can possibly be. I got. I got to cross a few milestones. Um, and yeah, sky's the limit. All right. So anyway, let's get to it. February 13th. So yeah, so um Dorian is one of the mods in here and we've been playing around with um the, what do you call it like the Twitter bots getting those Twitter bots in check. So we 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 got the Pumpers channel. It's locked. So the Pumpers one, I'm not going to go click it cuz I don't know if this is going I'm still going to use the Discord. I don't want to leave this February 13th thing. But the Pumpers bot has all the Pumpers that we're tracking. So like if something so like the the, the goal is if you're getting squeezed or if we're in a trade or some, you know, or if we're just like on downtime, we we quickly check the pumpers channel, see what the pumpers, there's like, there's a few pumpers in there, probably like 10 of them. We could see what they're pumping, you know, and like we just glance in there and see. So like now we were aware we had those bots in the, in the chat, but like those pumpers are pretty, it's too much, man. It's like a lot of information. And as you can see my screen, even though I have a massive screen, I have a, the Discord is very a small section of it, and if I have the disc, the the pumpers in there, it takes up every time they post, it takes up the whole thing. I don't know if anybody has that problem too, but yeah, that's why we made the separate channel of the pumpers. So that's why I'm doing this Discord too, dude. So everybody gets on that page. So you utilize that pumpers thing, and there's no typing in there. It's just to quickly click it, see what these guys are doing, like this vertical I'll, I'll go guy, Tiger Line Trading, McCalsh, whatever, all these douchebags. You get to see what they're pumping, and then like, okay, now now we got a gist of it. Now we're aware, you know. So, you know, it's not as I remember when the pumpers like Zach Morris and Ultra, those guys would like pump so good for short selling, man. They they would like pump something with a low float, like two dollars, one fifty or something like that, and then it'll go up midday, and then they'll just sell immediately. Now I get the the message that they alerted and then like i was short sh shortly after and then bam you know sometimes i'll be off five six thousand dollars just like that on this freaking pumper you know so um these guys these new pumpers this new generation of pumpers is not like that yet they're kind of like it, they're all over the place but yeah that section is for 
the pumpers. So um, utilize that. So the trading floor, let's start with Friday, the 13th. So the Mi6 bot is the bot Justin put. That one's the clean bot. That one has like dilution tracker, um, me, uh, and, you know, some good intraday people. It has all the short report guys because the short report Twitter is they only, they only post stuff when it's necessary. So it doesn't like drown everything out. So yeah, the Mi6 bot is, is, uh, the one Justin put. And then there's another bot that, um, Dorian put. So together we're, we're utilizing everything, trying to figure things out. Okay. So I posted this. Oh yeah, not shorting microfloats. Yeah, no, no. So we're not going to talk about any microfloats, sub million floats. You, we just uh alert just to um stay away, just to make make awareness. Hey, six thousand, six hundred k float, three hundred k float, four hundred k float, whatever it is. Uh, stay, you know, alert. No, and that's it. That's all we we mentioned. No, no talking about microfloats. No justifying the way to short it. Um, I don't care what it is. If it's a D spac. And the market cap is giant, but the redemptions or whatever. Microfloat is microfloat, you know. So, it, yeah, just no, no microfloats, man. We, no, no one here needs to be pushing it. I don't want to get too into it. It's just a simple, clean rule. It works, you know. Um, yeah, because like over the long run, you're gonna lose your ass in a microfloat. That's it. And I, I, I mentioned a few podcasts with that. There's a Kyle Williams one clip that I have. There's a another clip that I have of rewarding bad behavior. It's just microfloats never work out, man. Especially right now when, when the market is is still kind of hot from January. You know, so these microfloats, you know, who knows what can happen. Um one can go from two dollars to forty dollars intraday and then back down to three dollars. And you got you know you shorted at ten dollars, it goes to forty, you're done, man. So like enough. No, no, no microflows. We're not talking about any microfloats. There's so many nice stocks. There's thousands of stocks in the market. There's a lot of them on Dilution Tracker. We have good information with the cash positions that they have, with the amount of dilution, the ATMs. They're all this. We have all this edge that we can apply. Why roll the dice on a microfloat? Just like um, I posted on Twitter, like some stock OYO, OKYO, popped up and I put that um. What's that guy? The like the juggler? I don't know. Jigsaw. Jigsaw is like, let's play a game. Like, do you want to play a game with this guy? I don't want to play a game with this guy, man. It's like, you know, you might win. You might win, but like you play a game with that guy too much, you know, you're gonna you're gonna give away a lot of money, man. You're gonna make a you're gonna make I remember last year, you know, uh I lost hundred K on, on um FNGR and and I had a couple swing positions that I closed out. Thing is, and you know, and those swing positions were working. But since I was so destroyed on FNGR, I closed those other positions as well for for losses. So like, a, one loss bleeds into another. You know, so like, let's avoid that. But like the FNGR, I was trading sloppy for a while. So let's say I made like 80k, and I'm like, yeah, this is I'm a fucking G. I'm I'm, I'm killing it. This is awesome. I love trading. You're sick. And then you take a hundred k loss, it wipes out all those gains and more. So like, no, the same. It's just the same thing with microfloats. That was a Chinese one, with high insider percentage, whatever. I already went over that many times. This is the the microfloats is, is the same thing. It's, it's been proven. We don't need to discuss it anymore, you know. So it's just, it's just no no microfloats, no microfloats. All right. So Marcelo saying to long them and said, yeah, you can, you can. I I'm for that. Put a small position on. Test out the microflow. If anybody can get some data on microfloats, logging them maybe between maybe Wes, if you're if he's listening to this, between certain times with news and with a certain amount of volume and a float in the morning, maybe there's like an hour window between 8 30 a.m. to 9 30 a.m. Um a microflow from the past three or four since December, maybe December, January, February. Uh, this period of microfloat, anything less than three million or less than five million, let's say, um, anything that ran, uh, with news and everything I just said. That's maybe let, let's say maybe well, why not throw like a thousand shares on that and let it play out maybe till 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm thinking so 11 a.m. Eastern is known 
to be the time where a lot of stocks reach the, the day lows. So let's let's see. Maybe Wes, you can if you, if you can play around with that on Polygon or uh, whatever you're getting your data from. I think there was some other uh, software I gave you. You can check it out with that. Um, okay. Um, what else? VLON. Oh, yeah. VLON was going wild. I explained it. So I'm not going to go over all the trades here. What I'm doing is I'm going over the culture in here. See, everybody's on the page, same page and how we can improve. And I'll call. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about some things here and there. All right. So VLON was good. And it had that crazy pre market. So yeah, post screenshots. This is good. See, so like nice screenshots. So Discord has a nice screenshot view. Like in WhatsApp, when I post screenshots to my friends in there, sometimes it like shows partial of the screenshot. Discord has a nice, you see how this chart is looking? Very nice and scaled in there. And, you know, uh, very shows very clear. Let's do that. Let's utilize screenshots. Um, visuals. We need visual representation of everything. Dilution tracker, the the charts, uh, the filings. Dorian does a really excellent job with the filings, highlighting things. If we can uh, get in the habit of doing that more. Also, Dorian, uh, how do you do that? Can you tell me in a message how you highlight the things? Is that a you know what tool is that? As an is that an app like on your on your on Google Chrome or something like that? So yeah, if any or if anybody knows. Um, all right, so earnings, Marcelo, man, you're, you're doing very well. Good. Mentioning earnings, no touch, even for long, short, snow at this point to avoid microflows. Excellent, Marcelo. See, Marcelo's uh, on point. That's what we need. Look, I'm posting uh, the warrants, making it clear with the warrants. We want to see the owners and the place agents. So, like, not don't just clip the exercise price and the outstanding. Try to get them. The owners and the placement agent, and also, yeah, always look to see if it's registered or not. Uh, we need to see that. So, because like the placement agent, we, you know, for for example, sometimes it could be like HC Wainwright or some boosted or some shitty fucking investment bank. But you know, it's like we gotta know, we gotta know that stuff. Um, TN, okay, what's up? Good morning. Yeah, it's always good to say good morning and stuff, to, so we know who's who's in there. I know it's like a culture, like with my WhatsApp groups in the pre-market, everybody puts like GM. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's like okay, everybody's here. We're we're all we're all here. Let's do it. You know, the, you know that's that's good. That's acknowledge acknowledgement. It's good. So yeah, let's start saying good morning and and hello or whatever. I'm here. <laughs> it's like checking in. Um, I post like some P and L there, but like yeah, I just wanted you guys to see the the trades I'm taking. Um. Okay, good. Lockup abbreviations. Yeah, okay, so Dorian made a, a really good abbreviation sheet. I think we pinned it. Let me double check. I don't even know how to pin. And I'm, I'm still learning Discord. Unpin. Okay, so it is pinned. So LPX, let's try to remember this. Lockup expiration, NC, noncompliance, EP, exercise price. I'm going to start to, uh, because I know... Everybody here has been around for a couple weeks now. Um, so, like, we're starting to get used to it. But, like, I'm still going to type things out. But, like, eventually, when we all get on the same page, we all get uh, comfortable, we're going to start using these, these um, um, abbreviations. EP, exercise price. HC Wainwright. Yeah, ACW, AC. Yeah. We need a hint at them because that, they're, it's, it's long to type out. And AC Wainwright is is one of these these guys that do a lot of you know they do a lot of uh, squeezes and you know, manipulation and stuff. Reverse split RS pipe, okay pipe, uh, RS relative strength, RW relative weakness, IO institutional ownership. That's a that's an important one. Insider in, insider ownership. INSD okay. ELOC, equity line of credits, EPs, earnings per share. Okay, that's confusing because we have EP, exercise price, EPS. Okay, so this is gonna get some, this is gonna have this is gonna take getting used to. Earnings report, risk, stop loss, pre market, after hours, short sell. Okay. Oh, I put I need to put a star on that. Great. Um, who put us? 
So reverse loan, Tien, Simi, Gain, and one other. Oh, Marcelo. Okay, good. Let's let's get on this. So remember to check the pin messages. I think you click right here, and it goes to pin messages. We all got to get on that page because like this is gonna start to unify us. Remember, we're gonna be like those fighter jets flying in formation. That's us. Um, cheat sheet. Okay, pinned. Laza Pallavi. All right. Nice job. Okay, Laza. Nice. Anyone knows I I B has shares of Vlon? Yeah, so like um I tried to screenshot it. So I B didn't have. I think I just a black spot here. Yeah. Um what else? Okay, okay. I posted the me six bot po caught my post. Not sure if you know companies float value over seven hundred million. They can fire Ligdorian killing it with the fundamentals again. Okay, so if a company's float is over 700 million, they can file a shelf and immediately get effect. All right, that's what happened with Bed Bath. That's crazy, huh? So, like, over 700 million, they, they don't need an effect. They could just, it's just done. Um, okay, takes around a month to get effect on S3 or S1. Okay, um, all right, uh, Dorian killing it as usual. Pipes, uh, okay, what else? It is all pre-market talk. We're all, like, keeping busy here. I was really active in the pre-market, like, with other things on the side. It's always good to have things to do. So if you are if you were looking to trade pre-market, maybe have some reading material or webinars or something to, to look at. It, you can study, like, while you're trading pre-market. That's the great part. So you can just work on your game. And then you can... um. You can stay up for the first hour of the day, which is the most volatile hour, and you can see how these news, uh, these fluffy news and stuff plays out, you know, and then you could maybe you practice with like a small amount of shares, like 100 shares or 50 shares. Um, I used to do that a lot. And then like the first hour, I would get stats, you know, trader sync or trader view to get stats for that. I'll put in a small amount of shares like let's say a 50 share position, 10 shares uh, scaled into something five times, you know, with the stop loss, but you want to get the stats. So yeah, that's one way to do it, man. You know? Um, all right, Marcelo. Uh, yeah. TLM. Great. Yes. TLM's good. 65. Yeah. So he's talking about the IO. So that's, that's where I got the, the insider ownership. So Mike trade like Mike, he said like anything, 70% is no touch for IO. So that that he he brought me onto that game. I heard someone someone told me that in in trade space in Puerto Rico and then I I stuck with that. But then you know, it's it's like when you start for trading more, you get to you see how these things behave. You know, I spoke to also Jason Wukowski and I started paying attention more to in, into institutional ownership and talking about it over and over again like with Dorian and and the guys in here. And it's like, yeah, so Anything really like fifty percent even or something like that is is a red flag because they they behave stubbornly, you know. So anyway, I think last week we had AM AM go exponential again, and it had a lot of um, it had a, a high institutional ownership. However, you know, it's like you got it's like you're weighing other factors. It had a big run up in December, I think December 9th to be exact, because if it ran up the day I flew to Japan, so I'm not going to forget that. So that was, that was December 9th, and uh, that created a lot of resistance there, because there's still bag holders from that. It was a crazy volume day. It went up from like 30 cents or something like that to a couple bucks. A thousand percent runner. That's what I do know. It was like a thousand percent. So like when it ran up on Friday or Thursday, um, even though it was high institutional ownership, it did have a lot of resistance from before, and um, it spiked up really quick, like um, on a halt. And so, like, it did have a lot of juice to give back, you know. So even though it was high institutional, however, at one point when it like goes sideways after the after the halt down, it's not worth trading anymore. So, like, because of that institutional ownership. So, it was still high up on the day, but the high IO, it, it like, if it's it just provides, like, this, like, support 
and that's where they're keeping it. So like it's it's tough to fight the high IO, you know. So, um, because if it's not high IO, it's just gonna fade down. But like, who knows what these institutional ownerships are? Like, do they have algos? Maybe they threw an algo on it just to support it at some level. Um, maybe they just figured out up the price that's they like it at, and it's like they just keep buying it at that level. They just keep buying and buying and buying and buying. So, you know, these institutional people, we don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I spoke with Jack Schwar Jack, <laughs> Jack Schwarzy, Jack Schwager, and uh, he was saying, yeah, so like these hedge funds, these institutional people, you know, sometimes they have 100 PhDs there. And I'm like, God damn. These are not PhDs like scientists. These are PhDs like mathematicians <laughs> and uh, quants and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, it's too much, man. I don't want to compete against those guys. Uh, so anyway, let's move on. Okay, so BNTC announcing earnings. Good. Let's let's keep that. That's good. Let's let's uh whenever something's earnings coming out, let's point it out. Tn pointed out the. Um, I don't know what software he's using, but like this is good. We need multiple sources of float. So Tien is using this one. I use Dilution Tracker. Someone else, uh, JV Johnny uses um, Webull. Even Webull has decent stats. Uh, some people use Interactive Brokers. So like this, like we're compiling all these different sources, and like we're we're you know what I'm saying. That's how we avoid like getting blindsided. So yes, post. Even if your stuff doesn't match mine, post it because we need to see. With the overall, uh, we need to see multiple sources get a re to get a really good read on things. So yeah, good job, Tien. Um, we have the Texamex bot. He's good. He posts uh, a lot of stuff that's useful. Um, Marcelo posting the news from HILS. Yeah, Marcelo's good. Good job, Marcelo. That's useful. Willem. Okay, Willem is um stepping it up here. Good. See, Willem, we need we need more of this. This is what I'm, I'm talking about. Thesis was, I said, hey, 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 let's get your thesis. Only three months of cash, lots of dilution, spike into intraday resistance, large enough float market. You, you need to keep doing this. I know you will review. I know you review your trades afterwards, and that's great. But also, say your thesis out loud. It helps your trading, and put it here so we know, so we know, and like we can say, okay. Um, that does make sense. Uh, and then you add a, a, your other observation that you like, okay, this is a, uh, you add more stuff to the observation and then you get more confidence in the, in the short. So yeah, well, um, let's, let's, uh, I took away. Let's keep doing that. Keep doing that. Um, you're going to improve your trading and we're going to improve as a, as a community over here as a unit. It's not even a community. This is a unit. The trading floor is a unit. We're like SEAL Team 6 over here. Um, okay, Marcelo, good. Tien, good. Contact Sean. <laughs> yeah, I would, but I I think um, I'll, I'll, I'll contact him. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Uh, creating dilution track. Okay, good. Remember, this trading floor, I'm showing people. So whoever's watching this podcast, you got to see this in hindsight. But during during the week, this is locked. You're not going to be able to see this. Maybe in the future. Uh, I'm talking about the near future. When I feel like everybody's on the same page, um, I'm not going to do this anymore. Because this stuff needs to be just private. That's it. Uh, CLN tape. Oh, yeah, CLNN. Oh, yeah, so I'm doing reviews uh, immediately after the trades. Uh, on and I'm doing this for my own journaling. So the, here you go. So whoever wants to sign up for the subscription on audio uh, through the website, <clears throat> I'm giving straight up raw uh, explanations of my trades. And you're not going to get that anywhere else because that that is personally for me. So you're you're getting deep into like my own trading, and I have that as a subscription base because. Not that many people are gonna actually pay, so that's good. I don't want to give this, you know. See, the thing is, when you give it for free and you put it out there publicly, you don't know who's listening to it, and um, I don't want people listening to like my, my personal trades. So you got to put a paywall. 
the paywall is good. So I, I know right now I, I have a handful, very small handful of subscribers that paid. This is ten dollars a month. That's the maximum I could do it that the site allows me. I would have I would have done it more. Um, but like that's the maximum. Because I don't really care if you want if you want it or not. Um, that's just for me. Uh, because I remember specifically last year I interviewed James Friedlander and he said he does reviews of his trades on the microphone. Like I asked him why he has a microphone there. He does like whatever, and he said, "Yo, that's that's actually for my trades. I review my trades after I do it on the mic and I go through how I felt in it and everything about it." So like I, I now a year later, check it out. A year later, it finally clicks. I'm like, you know what? I think that's a better way to to do journaling. Immediately after the trade, instead of waiting for the trade to upload the next day, and then I gotta upload it on TraderSync, and then journal it. That's like, there's still 24 hours that passed, or like I don't know, 18 hours that passed, or whatever. But like in this way, I can do the 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 audio reviews right after the trade. And even um, it's more useful too, because like for example, in the pre-market, I'll I will do some trades, and then I'll explain the trade right after I'll journal it with the audio, and then I'll go over my thesis for the for the regular hours. There's a couple of trades, uh, stocks flying, let's say at, at uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, and I, then I'll explain what I'm looking for at 9 a.m. And this is just between like five, I think, to 20 minutes. I've been doing them. It's been working great because, like, if I'm doing it 9 a.m., usually I'm I'm flat by 9 a.m. and then I'm looking to do some trades for the regular hours or my observations of what's going on. That usually takes like 15 to 20 minutes, and then I have 10 minutes, 9:20 to 9:30 to kind of get a coffee and just just uh get myself ready, you know. So yeah, it's been it's been great. So like, if whoever's interested in that, and I and I know who subscribes. So like, I know if You know, cause you got to put your information. So I know the names. It's not like some some whale. I can see if it's a whale or not. I don't want whales looking at me, man. You know, so um, anyway. What else? The Artanagan. The Artagnan. Okay. Uh, BS. Okay, stepping it up. Um, the Bear Cave. Yeah, we got to see this guy's stuff. It's crazy, man. The Bear Cave. He does a paid subscri subscription every Thursday. A lot of hedge funds subscribe to him. Um, he was the protege of Mark Cohodes. Uh I interviewed the Bear Cave uh, guy and Edwin. He's one of my first interviews. Very very nice guy. He's, he's uh, was it? He was just graduated from Stanford at the time, and uh, very good interview. And he gave me a lifetime subscription for the Bear Cave and. It's crazy, man. I've been watching him from from the from the beginning for a couple of years now, and um, he's moving the stocks intraday. When he puts out a report on Thursday, his paid subscription, those stocks are starting to go to like negative ten percent on the day. Start to hit SSR. These are like big caps, and he doesn't short them. He just writes the report, and he does a weekly report. So this guy is starting to get some pull. I don't know. It's it's something to look into. Um. But yeah, this young guy is killing it, man. Yeah, it's out, you know. Like I remember when after I interviewed him, I'm like he was like 24, 23 years old at the time. I'm like, damn, this guy like in 10 years, he's probably gonna be like, like something, you know, like a big guy. Um, but anyway, what else next? I mean, the bot, okay, amp trades is good. We we got them in here. I like their tra their their tweets because they're just like very concise. Look how much it doesn't take much space in the screen. Great. All right. BS Vaughn, good. Okay. Warrants. Laza, let's get um nice screenshot, but like let's get a little deeper for the um, to get the place agent. We need to see the place agent in there. Um but yeah, we, we got the gist of it. Nice. Ninety three cents and 3.7. Oh, yeah, it says premium only. So if you got the free version and you don't have that information, that's fine, too. You know, eventually you'll get the the paid version. You know, don't don't stress yourself out. That's for everybody. It's like don't be buying stuff that's um paid if you haven't earned it. Because, like, you, the thing is um, you don't want to, like, add that level of stress. Even if it's a small bill, uh, it's better just not to have it. You got to 
because you need to, it, it takes, everything takes up mental capital. So like you, you want to be as clear of a mind as possible. So unless you're like making money consistently and like you can justify this expense, um, don't do it. Take it, stick with the free one. Uh, if anything, now uh, I know you, you don't have the premium, then I'll post mine. I'll say, okay, I'll, I'll look at it. I'll, I'll supply that information. Or somebody else can supply that information, you know? So, uh, but yeah, but this is good. We, we do need to see that. Good job, Laza. Saita, Saita killing it. So, Vlon Warren's likely used to cover short positions taken out. Yeah, I love his stuff, man. Because, like, he sees, he knows, like, these insiders, they're shorting their own stock. And, like, he is able to see that, like, in a 4D chess kind of way. I'm not there yet, but, um, He's very good with fundamentals. And when Saita has a good insight, he posts in here. He doesn't post that often, but he does post what he can. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I like Saita a lot. Hopefully, I'm trying to get him and his buddies to, to like, start posting here. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's see. Um, his, his stuff is, like, really good. Okay, so big... Was involved or oh, bigger? Oh yeah, yeah. So it sounds weird, but that's <laughs> it's one of these dubious uh um underwriters. Lincoln Park, District Two, bigger capital. You know, it's yeah, good information. So whatever Saita says, really try to learn from it. He's he's very very good. Okay, warrants. Oh look, I'm not even practicing what I preach with the. What is that? Vlon? So we, we're amateurs here compared to, so it said, so Saita pointed out the, the, um, underwriters. Oh, I pointed out the underwriters. So that's good. I came up with it. But, um, he mentioned it and we, I, I wasn't posting it earlier, but we need a, if you look on the dilution tracker in the bottom on the historic, um, dilution on the historic offerings that they've done, you can see the investors. And if the investors are kind of a red flag from the past, um, you know, it's it's a it's a red flag. It's something to point. We need to know that information. So yeah, get the screenshot and point it out. Um, yeah, so I just pointing out the merger. Good. Well, yeah, awesome. Marcelo. Reed. Oh, there we go. So Reed, yeah, Reed, man, you need to pull. I mean, so I, I, uh, <laughs> I took my friend Reed off the access to here. I took a lot of people off, man. I took Sam, Sam putting them off. I took Reed off. Like you gotta be active. Um, you gotta be active. So once once these guys want to get active, I'll put them back. But this is a this is a very we're trying to create something really good here. We gotta we gotta watch everything. Um, okay, Dorian posting that. Yeah, Dorian, you guys, I, we need to all get on Dorian's level, man, with this stuff. He's posting all the useful stuff. Okay. Good, posting the trades. Um, the trades, I'm thinking, should we move these trades to the general discussion? You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, the thing is, see, like, it takes up a lot of screen space. I don't know, like, I, because like this on on the um, Discord that you're seeing this on YouTube, this is the exact size of my Discord layout, and you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people have the same uh, experience where like something someone posts a screenshot it takes up the whole screen. So maybe we move this out to the general discussion, like the trades. I mean, good job. You know, we want to acknowledge good behavior, good trades. But um, at the same time, we do need to be on point. It's like the the air the fighter jets flying in formation. You know what I'm saying? This is kind of a distraction. So let's try to put the trades that are executed well in the trade in the general discussion. Also, you know, it's like we need to have some stuff going on in general discussion intraday too, because there's people in there that want to get like uh that want to prove themselves to be part of the trade floor. So, anyway, good. See, Willem, sick. You explained everything. 
spiked into resistance resistance in the EMA4 area, filled that $2 hole number. I like the EMA4. That's the one Tim Lentil uses um, for his covers. And the EMA4 Superman uh, uses it for his, his bias. He loads up there. So it's Lentil, you, you know, you, so the theory is uh, if for a multi-day swing, that's where you want to cover. So good job, Willem. Yeah, ex ex keep explaining the stuff. It's very good. Um, Laza, Oko, 650 conversion price. Nice. Okay. All right, we're getting on the same page. Um, BS coming out, calling out a trade. Nice. RN, 050, picked back up. Wait, what day is this one? We're on, we're still on the 13th. Damn. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Um, lower low, green or red. Some volume with silo. Nate Byer in the tape. Good, good. Jason Rukowski tweet. Nice. We always need to see that. Um, Citron Research. Do we have them on the bot? We do need to have them on the bot. So, I'll, I'll tell Justin later. On the Me6 bot. Trade Hawk. Nice. Got him on the bot. All right, I'm just going to go quicker, man. This is taking forever. <laughs> um, Lucas. So, yeah, right, now we're, we're starting to have my, my, my buddies from the WhatsApp group starting to join. Lucas in here. Nice. Um, he knows what to do. Uh, all right, so I'm not going to go over Lucas trades. But, yeah, Lucas said he, he, he's on point. So we, we've been trading together for a long time. The same thing with um Arsalan. And hopefully Reed in the future. But Reed is doing his thing, you know, and also Reed is in I you know, he's in my personal stuff on the WhatsApp. But like if he wants to get active, he's gotta get active, you know. So everybody here is is uh, we're on the same policy. Um so so far, yeah, I'm I'm seeing who's active in here. So four thirty six AM. Oh, this is the next stage. Uh Dorian, me. So I'm trading mostly from 4 a.m. until I get tired. And, like, if I start to feel tired, I'm going to stop trading. I'm, I'm really good with that these days. When I was, like, in Puerto Rico, I would tr I would force myself to be up at the screen. I was like, God, I got to get that midday parabolic, and I'm exhausted. I'm like, waiting for it. Or, like, I got to take, a, you know, uh, the end of the day, after hours, I got I to gotta trade until that, you know, and, like, I would do it, and, and sometimes it'll work, but then you, once in a while, you lose your ass. So um, these days now, since I know 4 a.m. is, is a heavy duty, I'll try to sleep uh, three to six hours. I'll try my best, and um, I'll be up the whole pre-market and maybe the, the first hour or two, and, uh, and the rest when I realize, hey, I, I'm exhausted, like when I start the... If I, if I if I start yawning or something, or if I start like dozing off, like, even the first doze, like I'm like, oh shit, uh, I'm done. You know, I'm done. That's it. I'll go outside get some sunlight. Cause it's, what's crazy is that like um, in the West Coast, it's still early in the day, so I can go out outside and like get some nice vitamin D. You know, it's like man, I mean L A, L A has some good sun sunshine. So like, I, that's what I'm doing. Then I walk home and go to bed and uh, do it again the next day. But those days of me from 4 a.m. to 8 p.m., what is that, 12 hours, 16-hour days, I don't I don't see myself doing that. Um, I don't see myself doing that. I don't need to do that anymore. Now I need to focus on, on hitting the right stuff, the A setups. But I, I do think that was useful. It's like um, Tango Baker. Oh, I got to get him on the podcast. Uh, I've been meaning to do one with him. But it's like with Tango Baker, uh, Chris Morales, he says, like, for a lot of traders, and especially in the beginning, it's important that you see, you get that full year of trading. So you see all the seasons. You know, you see how the summer behaves, for example, the summer low, or you see the Christmas season, the, the Santa run. You see the January effect. You see the full year. Same thing with, um, Trading the pre-market or the after hours or the intraday, you got to see how each one behaves, you know. So 
at different times of the year, you know, I don't know. It's like the more experience you get, the better. So I already got all that experience and, um, I'm ready. You know, I, I can organize my day for whatever the market is hot at. If it's hot in the after hours at certain times of a, a mania, then I will, you know, adjust to that. Or if I see there's a, all of a sudden midday spikers, parabolics start happening like crazy again. I'll start, you know, I'll adjust my day for that. Or the pre-market, of course, um, starts going like 20, 20 levels. Um, for all day faders and stuff, like I will, I will, you know, I'll adjust for that. So like the more experience you get, the more you can, um, you can decide to like focus your energy where it needs to be focused, but you do need to get that experience. So I already, I already did that, man. I already, I already got, had all of the experiences of long days and long nights trying to figure it out and understanding what the hell is going on. So like now I'm just going to focus my energy where, you know, constantly adapt, but like, I'm not going to be up for 16 hours, uh, trading because that, that can, at this point that can make me lose money because like, I'm not going to be efficient. Um, you know, so yeah. Uh, anyway, Dorian, of course, highlighting the, the fundamentals. Yeah. So Dorian, if you're listening to this or whoever's listening to this, is there like some app you guys recommend or someone recommend Dorian recommends? I have Google Chrome. Is there something on Google Chrome that I can get, like, that highlights that? So, like, I can do it, too. You know, like, it, it doesn't have to just be you um, highlighting these things, like, these really good uh, screenshots. These are really sick screenshots. You know, um, maybe it can be multiple. We can help you out. So, yeah, um, let me know in a message or, or something or point it out in the general chat. Um, okay, Marcelo. So, so far, Marcelo, me, Boilermaker, BS, Willem is active. I'm watching. I have a good memory, man. I've been working on my memory, taking supplements. I paid this guy um $5,000 last year. I'm going to do a review on it. when I, I'm kind of disappointed in it, but it's still, it's still useful. Uh, Doc Amen to scan my brain and to figure out like how to make my brain as as best as possible. But um, but yeah, so like um, I'm watching to see who's in here. Maybe I gotta take some people out. Who knows? Arky, Arky has te stepped it up a lot, man. Okay, so the plus, I'm assuming I want to get this right. I know Dorian does it a lot too. The plus means like you agree. That's is that what it means? Like a plus one. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it means. He's like, I want the daily clear of HYPR, and Arky's like, yeah, me too. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, hyper big float. Okay, yeah. Um, good, good, good. Arsalan. Okay, Arsalan. Yeah, Arsalan's starting to like it in here too. Um, trying to have all my buddies in here. Flying in formation. You know, it's like he's one of the fighter jets. He, he came in. He joined the group. <laughs> we have all the fighter jets in here. Lucas in here. Nice. Um, yeah, I don't gotta tell Arsalan what to do. Arsalan knows what's up. Um. And I got a couple other buddies I'm trying to get in here too. So slowly but surely we get all the fighter jets in here. Um BS, Chinese. Okay, good. We need to know what's Chinese. See who's this? Oh BS pointing out. I think this is Weeble. Is this Weeble? Oh well, yeah, so we need we need to know this. So, so everybody has a different thing, so we all put it together. So Weeble for some reason, sometimes they're good. They ha I don't know what they're using. I know some some uh, platforms use like Bloomberg Terminal. Some use their own like clearing firms. I don't know what, but uh, we we need to know different sources. But look at this, 300k float, micro float, and it's Chinese. Oh my God, leave me alone. Leave, leave me to China. Um. Okay. I do like, okay, if you're going to post a chart, maybe make it thin. You see how Lucas posts it thin? It, it's it's not taking up, like, the whole freaking screen. Maybe post, a like, a thin rectangle. I don't, I don't know if you guys saw mine, but, like, a, as thin of a rectangle as possible. I don't know how to do that with this. This is probably as thin as it can get. Um, But, yeah, you know, so... Okay, trade the matrix, BMV, 
Yeah. Yeah, we need to see his stuff. So, so far, who else would I see? Say to see, what's oh, the Trone Research? I need to type to Justin. Um, I'll, I'm not going to write it down. All right, Boilermaker, good. Uh, Wes, can you explain me full ratchet? Yeah, Wes is getting good, man. Wes is learning everything. This is a guy, Wes is a guy that's good with polygon and data, but he's learning fundamentals. That's what's up. Like, a lot of the people that, um, and Wes is probably going to be listening to this. So, like, uh, a lot of people that are good with data and stuff, they don't want to learn fundamentals. They're just not interested, you know. So, I think that, I think they're, they're missing a lot with that. So, like, when you get all, both of, when you get more information, and especially when you're learning, because Wes is still is learning. And uh, that's the time to kind of lo- learn all that. You get it all front-loaded, you learn it, and you're done with it. You know what I mean? After... After a while, it takes a while to learn it, but like, it's a one one time thing. You don't need to keep learning it forever. You, you you learned it, that's it. Now you, eventually you you um, you branch off to your strengths, but like you're always gonna have that foundation to that you understand. Nothing's gonna sneak by you as, as or like you know, you're gonna have a better understanding of everything, man. So. Like, that's great. I love that. I love that that, that Wes is learning all that. Um, okay. Let's see Marcelo. All right, we need people more active like Marcelo in here. Uh, our, our end, he's pretty active. Um, our end, okay, good. Our end's active. Edge near, edge near, super active. That's a good addition, man. This guy showed up just like a month ago, and he's he's providing a lot of good value. Good job, edge near. Um, the hyper scalper guy. Okay, ankle biter. Looking up terminology. Good. All right, ankle biter. Keep it up. Let's let's get that terminology down. As far as everybody. TJ. Okay, TJ showed up. This is the first tweet I see. What day is this? Yeah, I'm still getting used. February 15th. All right, we're on Wednesday. Remember, we still got two more days. De Pina. Morning. Is De Pina still here? Yeah. All right, so, so far... Round trip... Has not been active... Johnny, Johnny's taking a break. Johnny's cool with me. He can he can chill uh, when he's ready to come back. You know, so the clock is not ticked yet. <laughs> um, Frenchie hasn't been active yet. Got him. I think that's Enrique. No, De Pina. I gotta figure out who's who. Um, BS. Oh, round trip is actually I know who that is. He's he's uh he's chilling right now. Uh, he's good. But he's he's on uh, vacation and stuff. All right. Um. Willem's active. Ankle biter active. RN active. Arky active. Arsalan active. Barack of course. Uh. BS active. The Artagnan. Artag. Artagnan. He's active. The Pina's active here. The Pina. Let's get more active, man. Um. Frenchie. Let's get more active. Got him. Uh, oh, by the way, that got him guy. I saw him in L.A., man. Now he's he's just, just a regular guy. No one cares who he is now. <laughs> he was an internet sensation, and now he's he's just a regular guy, man. No one gives a shit about him. He walks on the street. No one no one wants any photos, no selfies. No one asks him to do any stupid dance or whatever he does. He's just like walking around, and and no one no one cares. His his internet fame died out. Um, King Salini is good, you know. Uh. It looks like everybody's good. Okay, so so far, Frenchie, uh, get more active. Got him, get more active. De Pina, let's see, and yeah, like three, four people. Um, yeah, and yeah, uh, Wes, is, I think Wes is active in the pre market. Just uh, yeah, just post your stuff more. But yeah, you, the people that are that know me personally and stuff like have done stuff like and. 
and I, I know what's going on with you. It's you get more leeway, but like let's all just try to chip in. You know what I mean? As much as we can. Useful stuff. And of course, we're not judging anybody. We're just all trying to improve. Um, I myself, I don't know how I come across on the internet. It's the problem with the internet. You don't know how someone comes across sometimes, and so it's not, not as clear. That's why I'm, I like to do these videos. Um, and it's only me, you know. It's like everybody should be doing. <laughs> and it's not gonna happen, but like everybody should be doing a video, so or something, so we can kind of see, um, the body language or the voice tone and stuff when. Aside from just the words that are typed in the screen, but like, I try my best to like be objective and and just like I don't take anything personal, and you know I'm I'm trying my best just to be clear, concise, and get everybody to be like you know providing to to reach their potential too. You know I'm trying to set an example here, uh, and I'm sure Dorian in the same way, you know and and. And the other mods too, Barack and, and Boilermaker. It's just like we're we're just trying our best, you know what I'm saying? We're not trying to get like I don't know, sometimes there could be um something seems like an argument or seems like it's heated, but it's I'm I'm trying my best as much as humanly I mean I'm a human being, right? But like I'm trying my best to just be objective as possible. And like I don't take anything personal and you know, I I hope I'm coming across like that, you know, it's like, like I said, in a text message, in a chat, sometimes it's not clear, and if, if I know from my own experience, and like, if someone, if I have a friend, like, let's say, I, I remember one experience last year, I had a friend that's getting squeezed, and he's, like, going through a lot of pain, and I'm typing to him, like, trying to help him out, I was actually trying to help him out, I'm like, hey, check out the flow, check out this, I found this news, this pumper, and I'm, and my friend is thinking that like uh like I'm judging him for the trade or something. I don't know. He's taking it the wrong way and he's getting angry at me. And I'm like, ah, I'm just trying to help, man. You know, so but that that's the problem with the internet, you know. So but like I wanna make that clear. Like I'm just here just like to help people make money, help prevent people from not make losing a lot of money. And I'm trying to make as much money as I can and trying to be as efficient as I can. And I'm trying to get the chat room to be as efficient as it, we can so we can all, like, uh, give value, like a value exchange and be efficient to work like a unit, like I keep saying. So I don't know. That's the goal. That's the goal with this private chat. Remember, this is private chat. It's not general discussion. Um Okay, Marcelo looks like Marcelo's on the on the ball. Then we got a few people that are on the same page here. So me, Dorian, Marcelo, um, Wes, I'm pretty sure is on the ball. He's he's probably busy and stuff. Uh and he's a newer trader, so he's he's observing and learning. Wes is on the ball. Actually, Wes is on the ball for sure. Wes, Arsalan, Lucas. So a few people. Now we, we need to have more join. Laza is 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 pretty much there also um willem has improved a lot man i'm surprised uh he's stepping it up uh johnny when he when he's ready to go he, he's he's on he's on the ball also hopefully king selena can get more active too um pfc jones that's um uh, joe so joe is um the guy he's i do macro jabber with him He's very he does options, but he's very good with the CPI stuff and all that. He posts when he can, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh so like whenever we need CPI information at him. At him. And he, he's at the trading desk every day. He's um he's one of the guys on the Sang Lucci team. And uh he's works with Ranchero. Ranchero's like his mentor. And Ranchero's like one of the most solid options traders there is. Um so yeah, so like he is our guy for the um, CPI and all that. So at him, and you know he 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 give what the information he has. He's he's cool. He's cool. He's as active as we need him to be. He's not a small cap trader. He's an options trader. So you got to remember that. Um, okay, Salini. Okay, my scans. Tina. 
I think uh, Salini is is um, Uncle Toast. He's a he's a little busy during the day, but he's getting there. He's gonna start to post more, hopefully. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Look, I got the VY book. I got it right here. I, I plan on reading my first chapter after I'm done with this. Man, still so, see. So it's Sunday, and I'm still putting in the work. You know. So Monday's off. In fact, I tried to sleep. Um. I was out during the day after I did that podcast with, with Corey, that sick podcast I'm going to put out uh, after this one, like a day or two after. Um, I tried to sleep. I was tired and, and like I couldn't sleep, man. So I was like, you know what? Why not just go and, and get this done? You know what I mean? So like that's what I do. If I'm laying in the bed trying to sleep, trying to get my few hours or whatever, and I can't sleep. I got to get to work, man. And, I, you know, I think that's what it is. I think I, I felt like I didn't get enough done in the day. In the back of my mind, I, I can't sleep. And that's just the way I'm wired. I'm just that, the way I'm wired, you know. And also, I said I was going to do this Discord thing. But then I was like, I already did a few podcasts. I mean, I was like, you know, I said I'm going to do it. I got to do it. So here I am. Anyway. Salini, okay, Dorian, Wes, Full Ratchet. Yeah, we had a good discussion on the Full Ratchet. And actually, um, it's good we kept it in this group because this is a lot of work. Like, Dor Dorian and I talked about this. There's a lot of work that we've done, and, like, this stuff, it needs to stay for us. You know, we put in the work. We need. We are the ones that need this information. The general discussion, I mean, after hours, sure, but, like, this this information we we need to the fighter jet pilots us we need that information uh to understand for us uh the real traders over here you know so like when we put in general discussion we have other people involved in the conversation and that's cool but we we are the the, the stars of the show over here so like um we need to get that information we need to be talking about that amongst ourselves because if we have someone that's just like pops in randomly and wants to all of a sudden talk and disappear for months, then like we're we're giving information, good information to this person, and we're having a conversation, but we're not getting that much value. It's like talking to a noob, and you don't see that noob ever again. You know, it's like you just took time out of your day to explain everything to this noob, and the noob, you know. It's cool to explain it to the noob. You always learn by explaining it. But if the noob doesn't really give anything back, it's like what's what's the you know? And you, then they disappear. It's like ah, the the ROI is not worth it. You know, it's it's like listening to Masi's podcast on Be the Trader. It's like you, I listen to it twice, and what I get out of it, man, it's like waste of time. You know, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, the fools. Okay, so uh, ankle biter, full ratchet example. Yeah, that was good. I think what I got out of it the most was um, because I I've always known full ratchet is. See, the thing is, you don't really have to understand the the mechanics of everything how it works, but um, it's like the Apple iPhone. Um, you don't need to know how the thing is wired or put together. All you gotta know is you turn it on move your hand around you have a couple of functions in there you always use and that's it so like um the full ratchet from my experience is just like they can keep lower the price just keeps getting lower and lower for the dilution and it's it's very bearish i know when when you see full ratchet in the filings this is a this is like a really sick company it's like a like someone with um what's it called uh leprosy or something <laughs> So that's like you know a very negative thing, um, because that means they that they like that they the shareholders involved got screwed, and then now like it it just they try to make up for the shareholders getting screwed by increasing the float and lowering the prices to match the like what the investment was of the shareholder. I don't know. It's it's uh some real mind. You know, mine F. Let me try to curse less on these things, but like, um, you know what I mean. So all you got a lot of know is it's very bearish, and the price keeps getting lower and lower. Uh, but yeah, it was a very good discussion. What's cool about uh Discord is now we can search here and we can type like full ratchet and like you can come back to this. 
this is very good. Yeah, so Wes, man, you're 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 gonna yeah keep doing this this stuff. You know, you you keep doing these um this work ethic and you know curiosity for learning. You're gonna go places. Yeah, you're gonna go places. So like, it's a long term game though. Let's so like you gotta keep stacking up this compounding this knowledge. So it's been about six seven months now. You've been on this grind and learning. And doing all the right things, you know, it's got to be like another year of that. <laughs> you know, it's it's uh, or it's, do another six months of that, then maybe six month increments, and then when you start to get after the year and a half, two years, that's where you got to be like, okay, now where am I at? Like, you know, you should be starting to think about profitability then and stuff. Because two years of of hardcore. Is uh you should be that's like on the on the slower end, or something like that. I don't know, but you know, it's, you you got like six months more of just absorbing information. You know, just don't try to try to try to stay break even, slightly green, slightly red. Don't try to push for profitability or whatever, like too too fast. You gotta compile all this knowledge. You're doing everything the right way, uh, so far. So keep it up. Um. <clears throat> What else? Oh yeah, Tinon. You know, so everybody, so I have all these brokers. I'm gonna start posting a little bit. If any, if anybody needs to know what the locate prices are or something, they're just curious. Um, because sometimes you gotta see if something's overshorted or if something's diluted, or if they did a reverse split and the float is low, but like there's a lot of shares available to short it. Ask me, I bro, I got all the brokers, man. So like, there's something. If anybody wants to know, that's that's what I can. Some of the value that I bring to the table. <clears throat> okay, what else? Arsalan West. All right, what day is this? Fifteenth, Wednesday morning. <coughs> Marcelo, um, and C pop one. See that that's the beauty about pre market. So C pop one up. I recognize it. Hit it pretty hard. All right. Um, what else? Text Mix, Arky, Tien, Dorian. <coughs> All right. All right. <coughs> so right now I'm looking to see who's active at this point. Oh man, I got this. Um. Breathing for Warriors thing. So I got asthma pretty bad. Um, I'm going to start doing it. I got to watch some YouTube videos. It's like 60 bucks. And I, one of these um, UFC fighters uh, came up with it. So hopefully that solves my asthma. Um, <clears throat> what else? Arky, okay. So at this point, we got to see who's active. All right, so I know this is early in the morning. So hopefully you in the market hours. Okay, so Engineer, of course, he, he's active, I think, intraday. BS, intraday, Arky, Lazi, Laza, Marcelo, Lucas, Arslan. Arslan. Okay, so now I'm starting to see who's active. All right, what else? Yeah, I want to. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll and get this done already. I still got to go to the general discussion. Um, but I wanted to do the regular hours chat first, cause, cause um, I know, looking at the YouTube stats, like people look at the, you know, half. Half of the video and beyond is very not that many people look at that. So if you're gonna stick around to the end, uh, that's when you you get the general discussion. Um, 
All right. What else? TJ, Arky. De Pina. All right. So, so I already know what's going on here. We got to get more active. Some people. All right. So, like, pause right here. See my game. Needs to get active. I haven't seen anything from him. Um, by the end of this, I don't know. I think I see my game. I have to lose the, the status. Um, I saw TJ in here a couple times. Uh, Arky's good. Arsenal's good. Barack is good, of course. BS is good. The Arts and I gone. All right, you got to get more active, man. Um, I saw him active earlier, but uh, he's got to get more active. Depinia needs to get more active. Which one's Enrique? I gotta, I gotta find out. I think Enrique is Depinia. Um, hopefully he he gets more active. I think Enrique is Depinia. Um, got him. I forgot who that is, man. I need to change the nicknames in here. Okay, so so far, it says Frenchie needs to step it up too. So so far, who's on the thin ice? Seema Gain is on the thin ice. You might lose the status. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, man. It's the policy. Um, vertical trading. So we had this bot, the tweet shift bot that Dorian added. But see, he his stuff takes too much space. So like we moved him over to the pumper list. Okay, so Depina. De oh shit, Depina. Okay, so Depina is active. Was able to get some hexo. Trade zero. Okay, see, so we need to see the trade zero stats too. Remember, trade zero is known for like uh, theory is uh, they do some naked shorting, so we we got to see their stuff too. Um, oh yeah, see, I took a the morning off. I was exhausted. I was like, I made made a good chunk of money. Let me go get some breakfast, and I go to the Intercontinental across the street. Sickest breakfast, man. Freaking five star restaurant. Uh, buffet. It's not even that bad. It's like like fifty bucks. Not, not that much. Um, have omelets and everything, man. It's freaking awesome. I love trading, man. See, like I could have, have experiences like that. I never could think of that before. When I was like a an architect, you're like, oh my god, fifty bucks. It's like once in a once a year experience. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, you can never do this. Uh, okay, so look at that. BS, nice. Have this. Well, around the screenshot here, look at that dilution potential. All the red high, 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 high. I love that. This is a short seller's uh, fantasy right there. All right, so um, vertical trading, remember we moved him over to pumpers. He's good to look at, but we got to, you know, it's, it's he's, he's, too, he's pumping too hard. And he's not selective. He's pumping everything. So we need to just look at the pumpers for that. See, ultra and all that, these guys were selective. You know, so... They didn't crowd the screen all the time. Uh, okay, the Pina is active. BS is active. Ankle Biter is active. Um, Marcelo's active. Wes is active. Wes is pointing stuff out. Um, the bid price. Okay, so they they need they need to meet the requirement of the bid price. Uh, the letter of delisting. Good. We need to know all this stuff. Starting to get on the same page. All right. So there are Tenagon. Okay, so let's post some more. Um the R Technagon. The R Tagnon. Um like if you're just posting if you're just coming in and posting one thing just to cover your ass, that's not enough, man. We we need to give some genuine value. Um you know, the only person that has that that uh that that can do that is Saita because Saita is legit. Saita shows us like hardcore uh, analysis. Um, and he's a friend of mine on top of that. Uh, and he's in a podcast with me too. Very sick podcast. Hopefully I, I should probably get him on again. Um, but if, if you're just coming in, throwing like one, one liner and disappearing for the rest of the day or for two days, eh, you, you know, eventually uh, you, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm gonna lose patience. Um, yeah, what else? What else? All right, time's running out. Okay, so 
who's on thin ice right here? Seema Gain. Um, now I'm looking. Now that it's like, now it's like I'm looking for. I'm aware. My eyeballs are open. Um, okay. Yeah, people need to be active. Like the way Marcelo is, the way Dorian is, the way Arsalan is, Lucas, Arky, me. Need to get on that. TJ even. TJ is stepping it up. Um, what else? What else? All right. Uh, Edgenier. Edgenier is, Edgenier is good, man. Okay, good. He's a hyper scalper. This guy's probably busy clicking like a million times. Um, what else? And the thing is, the reason why I'm like I'm I'm strict like this is because honestly, it's like if you're not gonna be active, I'm okay with the chat just being like me, Dorian, uh, and like three other people. <laughs> Well, of course, Arsenal and Lucas, because like they're, they're, you know, I've been trading with them for a long time, uh, and and Wes, you know, Wes is I like talking to Wes. He's he's a sponge, but like, if it's like just five people, like that's fine with me, man. So like, if you if you guys you want to be part of it, let's get part of it. Join join the core. You know what I mean? Um, Laza is starting to do that. Uh, Marcelo as well. TJ. Uh, who else did I see in there? <clears throat> In some of the core group, you know, Johnny, and of course, Barack and Boilermaker, they're the Moz. This was their original chat, so we decided to, like, bring it all together, you know, um, you know, so, okay, so, this is what I was talking about, AMAM, AM, that resistance, that you can see here, all this resistance from, like, that day, December 9th. So even though it's high institutional ownership, it was just up so much, and it held. That's crazy, man. So it held. It did not break down, and then it finally squeezed. So the high institutional ownership, they, they hold, man. It's just, like, ridiculous. Because, like, technically, it is a ridiculous run-up. Oh, and Ultra had a hand in this. He was pumping it for, like, a couple days before, a week before. I had a, a, a podcast on that. I mentioned it somewhere. Might have been in a bear talk or something. Um, we got Flash SEC now. See, Flash SEC is, is like the same thing as Dilution Tracker, but like it's another source. You know what I mean? So like, why not? We need to see the other source. See, look. Did you know? That's a good point. So like they're pointing something out. And it's very concise. I like the way they just keep it a one-liner. AMAM, did you know that 62% of the company's float is held by institutional investors? Click the link below to check it out. You know, so that's good information. JC Capital a Pumper. So like now they're in the pumper list. See they they post these like what is that stock twits? It's retarded. But like the the screenshot takes too much screen space. So like now they're in the pumper section. Now we can just go back. So we're still feeling this out. We're still like the 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 chat is is constantly evolving for the better. So now we got the pumper section. I think that's going to be useful. Um, tracking all the pumpers. So if you know a pumper, uh, tell tell me or Dorian. We're going to throw him in there. Throw him in the pumper jail. You know, <laughs> keep an eye on his ass. Um, all right, see him again. Is is let's see. He's got a couple of days to get active in here. Okay, so. Many trades. He's in the pumper section too. I think he was a miner when when uh, all the pumpers were pumping. So technically, like I don't know, he he got lucky that he was a miner because if not, I think he'd be arrested. Um, Lucas DOT, you're right. Steady pace, equity curve, not spoken about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Willem. So Willem and I go way back. Willem, uh, when I when I had a small amount of money and I was trading pre market, he was up too. So we we um, it's crazy. We know each other for a long time. Um, it's good to have him here. You know, now we've finally got the analyst upgrade because he, you know, he's he's starting to explain his um his trades now. So like that's all it takes, man. Just start to go deeper into your trading, like as far as explanations. You know your stuff, and also you know Willem knows fundamentals. 
decently well. I remember you used to, I think you, you used to point out full ratchet to me and if the company's earnings or a lot of diluted stuff in the filing. This is before dilution tracker. So let's use those strengths that you have, Willem. Um, you have experience. I mean, that was what? What year was that? Oh, 2020. So it's been three years. You got you got a lot of knowledge, you, you know, so start to put that knowledge out for others. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be our advantage here. Remember, we're, we're retail traders. Retail traders, we got to be on point in order to like to be as efficient as we can. Um, all right. All right. Let's see. What else? Engineer. Engineer is good. All right. I'm just going to scroll for the rest. What else? What else? Yes. Yeah, so Arsalan pointed out. Yeah. See that? He points out the screenshot of, of the Lucian tracker. Pipe warrants. Exercise price. Underwriter placement agent. AC Wainwright. We need to see that. Um, if you want, I don't know if our son's going to watch this whole video. He's probably not. Um, he doesn't need to. But whoever's watching it, okay, so let's, we can cut the screenshot after the placement agent. We don't really need the price protection, issue date, all this stuff. We just need to see the registered, that is registered. We need to see the exercise price, the total issued. And the remaining, because some, you know, and then the known owners and the placement agent. So the bottom line is the screenshot can end right after the placement agent. We don't need the whole thing. Remember, we're, we're getting efficient here. And then BS points out, uh, what's he pointing out here? Registered. Oh, yeah, so he's, he's going after the registered. So, yeah, the effects... Do they have to file for effect or, yeah, they have to file for effect. That registered is effective, Arsalan. Um, what's crazy, Arsalan has, has only been trading for like a year and a half. <laughs> and I think he worked at McDonald's before. He doesn't want to go on the podcast. <laughs> He's kind of camera, camera shy, but I think he was a McDonald's employee. I, <laughs> I hope I got that right. If I got it wrong, I'm sorry, Arsalan. But I think he was. <laughs> I think he was a McDonald's employee before trading. Yeah, if if that's not true, then then I'm thinking of someone else and my bad, Arslan. Um, let me see. Okay, we got the pumper. So this all moved over. We're not having this anymore. So we we fixed that. Uh, that moved over to the pumper section. Um, Laza, Laza. Arthelon, Johnny. Oh, Johnny's back. All right. Um, our end. Okay, our end is, is cool. Our end, you got to get more active, man. Let's get let's get more active. Um, bag holders galore. Good. I know this is slang, but let's let's um let's explain uh that bag holders from where? What what part of the chart you seen it from? Like a month out? I think it was like a month ago. Uh, they they had they had bag holders. So like bag holders, uh, be more detailed about like how much volume maybe it had. Bag holders on record volume on this date with a month ago, um, at this level or something. Or put a screenshot of the bag holders. Let's get a vi visual representation together with um written explanation. So sick. Um, I I I learned recently that like audio books, for example, you learn more if you have the physical copy and you're reading it so you're reading it and you're hearing it so in this case the more senses the better so in this case we have a visual representation a screenshot and an explanation about like bag holders beautiful now we got the visual and we got the we got the written it's great so let's let's get that um dorian pointing out as new york stock exchange Let's start to do that, you know. So I know Thinkorswim shows if it's a what exchange it's on. Uh, Yahoo Finance shows it pretty clear. 
sometimes it sneaks by, man. But we, we do need to know that. We need to know if something is on a New York Stock Exchange or a NASDAQ or uh, that's about it, really. Um, yeah, so we, we need to know that. We need to know that. So, I mean, sometimes it can sneak by, but, you know, we need to know that because uh, different exchanges behave differently. New York Stock Exchange stocks, they get, um, from what I understand, like when I went to New York Stock Exchange, they have different booths, like the, in the New York Stock where Jim Cramer is and all that. And each booth has a market maker and they're in charge of a certain amount of stocks. So they get like executed. The market makers, get they have algorithms that, that feeds it to the market maker, it like funnels and the market maker executes the trades manually. So that's a New York Stock Exchange. So that behaves differently than like the NASDAQ, which the NASDAQ is fully all automated. And when I went to the NASDAQ uh, for the DOS competition winning, winning that, uh, not this year, <laughs> last year. I, this year I did horrible, but I didn't care. It's like, it's like, I don't want whatever. But, um, when I went there, they just have like six people at the desk. Uh, and the NASDAQ is like so small. It's just like a, it's like a, a green room, basically. You know, it's very disappointing. It's like, oh man, it's the NASDAQ. It's just like nothing. It's a podium. <laughs> it's just decoration. So, the NASDAQs behave differently. It's just fully automated. And the New York Stock Exchange is like, I would say, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. But it's, it's a, I wouldn't say it's half automated, half market maker. I, it's probably a lot more automated. And there's just a, some that get funneled and the market maker deals with it. Um, but yeah, you know, it, the, the bottom line is they behave differently. So, and they have different requirements, like especially these lower price companies they have a different requirements uh to stay listed on new york stock exchange versus the nasdaq so we need to know the exchanges they're on so like if 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 uh you see it you should yeah, try to point it out you know so yeah uh what else what day is this 16th all right so the 16th 17th is Friday, so one more day. Hopefully this is faster. Um, JV Trader. Arsalan, all right. Arky. What else? Saita. Okay, my main chat, two guys used to be in Utopia. Yeah, hopefully. I'm going to try to get them on this one, man. Hopefully they come over. That would be sick. Um, oh shit, so I, I don't even know. Oh, I gotta see when I expand. So he joined all these freaking uh pumper chats. I gotta check that out later. Who's that? Our right. end? Okay, yeah, that, that, that's hilarious. Um, I tried joining a couple as you guys can see. I got ducks in here. Justin's crypto one, and I got one more. I think that's ChatGBT, Vertical, and honestly, I'm using. I have Ducks in there because I like to see how he organized it. Um, but like, yeah, because I would like to utilize some more stuff. Definitely the voice stuff would be good. I gotta learn how to do that. Um, but yeah, okay, Engineer, Space News. Okay, good. We got the news. Engineer. Power was amazing. Equity thing, very valuable. Yeah, Lucas is good, man. He's good with uh, fundamentals, too. Um, RN, okay, RN is, is good. He's very active. Wes is starting to talk some more. Nice. Engineers, always active, which is good. BS is good. Um, what else? What else? What else? Come on, I need to finish this thing. When my when my throat starts to get dry, that's when it's like I'm podcast needs to start to end. I might not get through the general discussion too much, which will be a shame, but whatever. Priorities, right? Okay, so TJ, nice, active, Dorian. 
Boilermaker. <laughs> okay, um, Friday. All right, what was this long thing? Equity lines. Oh, yeah, equity lines. It's more like ATM. So Dorian is starting to freaking know his stuff, man. Sick. All right, so, um, Laza, Engineer. I think we got a solid core over here. Very proud of the, the way this is shaping up. Oh, Seam again. <laughs> you got active at the right time because I was gonna, I was gonna take away the status. Posted a new. My brain needs to increase. Oh yeah, yeah. I was talking about the podcast. All right, good. See him again. We need we need you active, man. The regular hours. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh man, screws. Um. Okay, I understand the thought process you're doing some of the fast version. Rest your head at night, knowing. Yeah, man. It's like you, you gotta you gotta have a clear mind. It's like how are you gonna be a trader if you don't have a clear mind? You gotta be able to sleep at night. Wake up in a Zen state, go through your like. I remember going to see uh in the Dodgers last year, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and I went early to see uh I the only the only game I went to I went to see Clayton Kershaw, uh pitch. Clayton Kershaw is one of the best pitchers in the major leagues. I think he's one of the highest paid pitchers as well. And I I used to go to a lot of baseball games as a kid, and uh, I would go early to see how the players practice and stuff. And that's what I did this time. So I went to go see Clayton Kershaw. He is like, when he go, it was he was pitching. He goes, does his jogs. He's alone on the field. It was just like me and, and like not that many people in the stadium. Like an hour and a half early, and I got to see him with his trainers. They leave him alone. They let him jog. He's like looking at the sky and like stretching and like he is calm. You can just tell. He's calm, almost like in a meditative state because he's going through his routine. I'm sure he got a lot of sleep the night before. He probably looked at video. He probably rehearsed. This is the ultimate professional. He's getting like, I don't know, like $30 million a year or something like that. He's one of the best pitchers of all time. If you look at his stats, his uh, career stats, insane. He sucks in the postseason, but um, he's very good in it. He's one of the best uh, pitchers in the regular season ever. So it's like, you know, part of being a good trader is having your mind clear, having your conscience clear. You got to like, one thing I did after 2020, after all, you know, proving everybody wrong and stuff for my own self, I went and repaired a lot of relationships that I had, like with family member and friends and stuff like that, even like college friends. And just to have a healthy relationship with everybody, you know, so like, you know, so I can trade in a better mind state. You know what I mean? You get all those monkeys off your back, the chips on your shoulders. You take, you try to make peace with a lot of things. So, you know, and that's what's cool about trading. You got to be like a better human being and stuff. So, like, if you're a fool rule, you're always going to have that integrity issue. And, yeah, you know, this girl's charging $5,000 for a session or something like $600 for a phone call. A thousand five hundred for a course is, you know, whatever. She knows what she's doing, and when it says one ten thousand dollars to a million on the cover art, it's like, and you mentioned nothing about that in the podcast. You didn't mention anything about trading of how you did that. It just that's just in the cover art. It's like you can't just sneak that by. So like, where is the integrity? And if you if you don't have integrity, how are you gonna trade? How are you gonna trade? And, and be at peace with yourself. Because, like, in the morning, when I trade, I have a routine, like I told you guys uh, earlier, where I will uh, close out my positions from 4 in the morning to, like, 9 in the morning. And then I'll do a review of my trades. This is the recent r routine I got. And then, like, I'll make a cup of coffee. Actually, and I put on, I have um, this jacket, like a thermal and I'll, I'll wear this thermal jacket for like 10 minutes. And that's like what I like Clayton Kershaw. He has like a jacket. He uses the warm of his arm. He sits there like he puts it on one side 
and he's just there you can he's sitting indian style like he's just like kind of meditating kind of moving his arms stretching a little bit you know going through his rhythm and i'm pretty sure like to be the best pitcher there is like in the league for that many years he's been pitching for a long time um he he's at the point where everything is taken care of you know what i mean it's like he he's his life is 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 he's he's at peace you know what i mean so like um and i think in the postseason he's he's sucked in the world series and stuff like that because like he he he's not at peace in the postseason he has that lingering over his head of the pressure of like of winning the world series like he's the best at everything but like he blew a couple games in the, in the world series and the playoffs and like that's that adds that's um that's puts it puts him off like it's it's uh it's it doesn't have him at peace that's that's bothering him and it's affecting his pitching and the thing is with the postseason the postseason doesn't come around that often so it's like it's see with the regular the regular season you can um focus and on the next game that's coming up and you can you can make adjustments and you can improve see the postseason you might not see the postseason for a couple years So like the next time you get a chance to prove yourself again is the future. So like that is off putting. So like um, but yeah, going back to that, you know, this is the whole integrity thing. It's like if you don't have integrity, if you don't uh, like you know, if you're even late behind in all your bills, or if you had a fight with um someone verbally or whatever, it's like that's gonna throw you off of trading. So like you gotta be all the stuff like. Trading is so hard and like there's a, like so much going on yet you cannot control. Like we have no control over the, over the market, over like what what the stock is doing or like if the squeeze is happening, the low flow, whatever. It you know it it might not make sense of what's going on, but like you can't control that, so there's nothing you can do. It's just it's doing what it's doing. But like outside of the trading hours, all those things I mentioned that, that you can that you can work on uh, of self improvement. You can control that to a, a major extent, so I suggest doing that. You know, for me, I I, I try my best to repair all the relationships that were rocky uh, in my personal life. This is like 2020, um, you know. So and I I paid down all my bills recently. Like everybody saw that, that uh, <laughs> not everybody, but you know, a few people saw that uh, I worked on business credit and stuff with Ellis. Uh, Ellis Hobbs and uh, that helped me a lot you know so like because like before I thought like my personal credit I'm just stuck with it and like you know and then now like the whole business credit world opened up to me and that and, and I know in the in the states I don't know if it were how it works overseas a lot of uh, people in this chat they're from other countries um, but in the U.S. business credit is like the way these uh you know like the tycoons like donald trump and stuff they do the businesses and are able to become billionaires and all that so i don't know having that that whole world open up to me with the business credit has, has helped has eased my mind let's say that you know so um yeah just handling stuff outside of trading and just keeping your credibility so when you when you go at night and you go to bed you can uh you don't have to worry about all that you get you know so so yeah um what else Okay, so let's see. Do I need to take anybody off? All right, so everybody here is good. See, my game got active at the right time. Um, Arky, good. Barack, BS, Arzanagan, De Pina. De Pina needs to be more active. Frenchie needs to be more active. Got him? Who's that? Should I? I didn't see Got him put anything here. <laughs> I think we got to take Got him out. Round trip, he's good with me. He's, um, he's on vacation. Everybody's got to, you know, you tell me you're on vacation and you, you've already added value, um, to a, a very big extent, which he has, I know who he is, uh, then, then you're cool. So got him. I think I'm taking this off, man. We don't need to kick him out. I don't like to just take away the status, right? So how you do it? There we go. Boom. Yeah, all right, so everybody here, that's why I do the review.
everybody here is good to go. Maybe I should make another section of fundamentals. I don't know. We're going to try to keep this easy. Bots. Uh, ankle biter. I think everybody's good. Yeah, everybody's good. All right, so really quickly, general discussion. February 13th. Let's see, Rome. I'm just gonna scroll. I gotta get into it. Tn, Tn. Let's 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 do. Um. Well, I guess this is like discussion. But intraday, yeah. Let's let's type some more stuff. Um. Well, okay. So now, this person, China, pumper. Number. Let's call it number eight. Oh, I guess they left the chat already. Um, Arky, Arky, okay. I'm trying to see the new people, the ones in white. The ones in white that are starting to get active. Rockmon. Rockmon, I remember he was, he was starting to get active. Who's this right here? Oh, Joy. Let's see if we can change the nickname. China Pumper number eight. Ah, they left the chat also. Um, I don't know how they joined. They just see me like on 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 Twitter or something. Um, Engineer, okay. Rockman. All right, Rockman. So so far. I see you active in here. Are you interested in joining intraday? Like, what what are your plans? Let's see. I haven't looked at your t your chat, so so far it looks like you're active here. Okay. And um, if you're watching this, uh, and look at the other Discord review also, um, so you can get on the same page. If you're interested, you know. Hopefully, you're interested. If you want to be active, uh, Loic, I saw him in the, in the day too. Rockman, yeah, so Rockman is active. All right, Rockman, so yeah, if you're watching this, Rome Ship Show. Okay, let's see if I see them again some more. What day is this? Oh, Friday. That was it. Okay, so Rockmon is basically it. One to six high execution trades. What's up with this uh username, man? Come on, let's let's, <laughs> let's shorten that up a little bit. Um All right, so Rockmon is, is the potential here. What else? What else? What else? <laughs> All right, Manolo. All right, that's it. So Rock Rockman is is the one. Okay, so Rockman, let's uh, let's get uh, at, let me know. Talk to me if you're watching this. Just, let's say if you stick out to the end, and um, yeah, if you didn't stick out to the end, I mean. Maybe whoever did can maybe can reach out to him. if Wes I know Wes likes to watch these things or Dorian or whatever. So let's see what's up with the Rock Mon. See if he wants to what what his plans are. Um, all right. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later tomorrow or maybe Tuesday morning. I'll post up the the podcast I did with Corey, aka Sell the News on Profitly. Very sick podcast. Looking forward to it. And yeah, um, the friendly bears over here are always going to be applying the pressure to the fools. I'll see you guys later.